Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Today we answer the age-old question, what if your homicidal, ice-breathing ice cream man is actually a cop? What? Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Ice Cream. Now, if you're looking at this wall, you probably noticed this familiar poster. That's right. We're playing a mod by none other than a Beggy Joe. I still don't actually know if that's the way to pronounce his name, but either way, he's been kind enough to send me over a mod for ice cream. Yeah, that's pretty stinking cool. So that is precisely what we are going to be doing today. So why don't you guys go show a Beggy Joe some love, go over to his channel, let him know that I sent you. But without further ado, let's explore this mod. You probably already know what it is because you saw the thumbnail, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's go. Yeah! Okay, that's um, that's Policeman Rod. And um, and the Chuck there looks a little different too. I think we're gonna have to take a closer look at Chuck. He looked like he had a goatee, or he had like, I don't know, tattoos or something. It was hard to tell from this distance, but you can clearly see that uh, Rod has a police truck. <laughs> it's not an ice cream truck anymore. It's a police truck. That is very upsetting. He plays policeman during the day, and then turns children into ice cream by night. That's horrifying. Let's take a closer look. I'm, I'm kind of worried that, uh, that Rod's waiting for me. By the way, we're playing on normal. Also, it's worth mentioning that this is based on version 1.0. This doesn't actually have the paintball gun. Um, there's also a few other things that aren't in this version. I don't think that Rod crawls in this version. There he is. And uh, we're playing on normal, so he's super slow. After playing on extreme mode, <laughs> what a joke. Cool glasses, though. I, I really like the glasses. And in case you didn't know if he was a policeman, he's got police plastered to his chest. I like how the NYPD has custom made an apron just for this maniac. That's real nice of them. He's also got a very cool hat. I dig the hat. All right, shall we uh, move along? I, I don't know if the other areas are- Oh! Okay, hello. I didn't know that you turned around. So yeah, I don't know if the other areas look any different, but either way, I'm excited to be playing this mod. This is, this is really cool. This is the first time that we've meddled with the look of ice cream, and uh, I like this one. I really do want to look at Chuck, though. Poor kid. He'll never be the same. Back off, dude. Back off. Don't you dare. Okay, he, he lost interest. Let's check out poor little Chuck. Uh, he doesn't have a goatee, but he is tatted up. He is living that thug life. He also has, like, ice cream uh, tattoos. You know, kid loves his sweets. What can I say? All right, let's save Chuck. I don't really know what the best order to do things in. My previous order is based on getting the paintball gun, but we don't have the paintball gun in this version. So there's really no reason to look for it because we're never gonna find it. But at the very least, we can go to the cafeteria and can figure out who's, uh, you know, up, uh, you know, who's, who's got the next shift. Do you think he's, oh yeah, he's in here, okay. I don't see any major changes here to the look of the building. I think it would be pretty cool if he had turned the cafeteria into like a, a police office, you know, just plaster like NYPD to the side of the building. Hello, policeman Rod. He's a fake. He's, he's not a real policeman. Maybe he is a real policeman, but you know, he's doing some bad stuff when he's not doing good stuff. That made no sense. All right, next up is Brad. Do we need oil still? I don't, I, actually, I don't think we do. I don't think you have to get oil in this version. So I think I'm just gonna hop out the window and then um, we can go to the playground and we can get the security keys, right? 
That'll give us access to the security office, and then we'll just go from there. It's so easy on normal. <laughs> Also, the fact that we're playing version 1.0 is like a, a way easier version. There's less to do, I guess. Okay, so if I remember correctly, first of all, no vending machine, right? No paintball. But if I remember correctly, uh, we don't need to, you know, grease that gate. We can just we can just crawl into here and get the uh, the gasoline from the other side of that pipe. So that makes things easy. Let's see if anything's different around the playground. It doesn't really look like it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, there's a lot of changes that they made from version 1.0 to version 1.1. Like the whole pipe drop puzzle thing. It's not here. You don't have to do it. You have full access to the playground right off the bat. Let's see if we can find the jacket. But there's also no way to incapacitate Rod. Like he's always awake. You can't, you can't knock him out. Although... I do remember that some of you in the comment section said that you can crash into him using the uh, the go-kart. So that might be worth trying. Can he get up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, he totally can. Please don't. Please just stop. Where's the security jacket? Oh, there it is. Also, I don't have to uh, crawl through that pipe to get to the gas. That makes things stupidly easy. I'm gonna crawl through the pipe to get back to the uh, police truck, though. The SWAT van, whatever you want to call it. How you doing, Chuck? You're not looking so good. What is that tattoo on your neck? Is that a flying piece of cake? That piece of cake has wings? You also have AirPods. Of course he has AirPods. He seems like an AirPod kid. I don't even know what that means. What's an AirPod kid? I don't know. Let's go to parking. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so remember, we need to get Brad's ID card. I'm not sure what else we need to get while we're here. I don't know if there's anything that we can get while we're here. Brad, let me have your ID card. Thank you. Handsome fella. I love the mustache goatee combo you got going on. What? He saw me. Where is he? Rod, where are you at? Dude? Oh, there you are. Hi. Where are you? Okay. Can't help but notice that you're wearing sunglasses at night. Very cool of you. Very policeman-esque. Very intimidating. But let's be real, the most intimidating thing about Rod is, is not his sunglasses, it's the fact that he can freeze you with his breath. Yeah, that's pretty intimidating. Also, we don't have to open this gate. Has that always been like that? Interesting. Oh, cool, trophies. Let's leave. Uh, let's go to the stall so that we can get the gas can and then we can go back to the playground and I guess fill up the gas can. I gotta tell you, you guys told me in the comments that I can leave stuff on the car, like in the van. That like revolutionized <laughs> the way that I play the game. I was playing it so wrong before. It is so much better when you leave stuff on the truck. Like, I was being real dumb. I would just drop stuff on the ground, and then I'd have to drive back, go pick it up, and then come back to that spot to get something else, and then go drive to another place and drop something over there. And It was, man, what a waste of time. Let's go back to the playground. Does Rod crawl through the pipes in this version? I don't think he does. I'm pretty sure that that was a big part of that 1.1 update, but I honestly don't know. But we now have a can full of petrol. Oh, hi. You, okay, you didn't even notice me. It's those sunglasses. You shouldn't be wearing sunglasses at night. It's making it hard to see stuff that you should really be able to see. Chuck, we're going to save you and those beautiful tattoos. Don't you worry, buddy. At least Rod didn't take away Chuck's AirPods. You know, he can still listen to his podcast or whatever he's listening to. All right, we need Brad's card. There it is. Got it. Open. Thank you. We're going in. What is this? Pliers. What? You just go straight to pliers? That's it? Are you serious? That seems so easy. Wow. So version 1.1, you had to get the storage keys and then go back to the parking garage and get the pliers out of that storage room. Crazy. I, I can't believe that I forgot how much they added to version 1.1, but it's a substantial update but here we are basically about to beat the game 
Um, let's drop that, and then I guess I'll grab the gas can and fill up the uh, good old go-kart, and then we're gonna try to destroy Rod with the power of go-kart. Fill it up. Please go faster. I don't know if he heard me drop the pliers. He may want to investigate. Okay, we got a full tank. Let's go. Where you at, Rod? I got a go-kart bumper with your name on it. Oh! Okay. He snuck up on me. It was a little scary. I was in the go-kart, but it didn't do anything. But that that could be that was probably my fault. I probably need to be going a little bit faster. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll try again. We still got two more lives. Should turn this room into like a jail cell. Just a straight up like police jail cell. That would be cool. Gotta roll with the police look, you know? Oh dear, he has seen me. Okay, hello, hi. You are very, very slow, and I'm embarrassed that you even caught me once. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the parking garage. Gotta run this fool over. Hopefully he won't give me a traffic ticket. <laughs> it's not funny. Not even close. All right, Rod, where are you at, dude? I guess we can smash this open. Oh, I think I see him. He's just on the other side of that door. Yeah, there he is. All right, okay, okay. I'm gonna wait for him to come around that corner. And then, yeah, you know what? Actually, I need, I feel like I need more speed if I'm gonna make this work. So let's do it like this. Where is he? Smash him! Yes! Oh! That was awesome! Minus the fact that I just assaulted a police officer. That was pretty rad. I mean, let's be real. He's a police officer that's that's trying to turn me into ice cream. So, you know, get out of here, big bully. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna push you down this hill. Take that. Ha! I'll show you who's boss. You know what? You go that corner. Get to that corner. This is your, this is your new home. Enjoy it, all right? All right, let's grab the pliers. Let's get this party ended. Normally you start the party, but this party has gone way too long. Oh, he's awake again. Okay, that's fun. Can confirm, uh, you can knock out Rod with a go-kart. That was cool. Now, we're in his secret lair. Uh, I think that we get the keys right in here, right? Yes, maybe? Yes, there they are. Cage key. He's done it. Get me out of here. Let's save Chuck in all his glorious tattoos and his AirPods. Maybe he'll give me the... Forget the blender. Give me an... Give me the AirPods. Hook me up, Chuck. Come on, dude. It's the least you could do. I literally saved you from becoming child ice cream. AirPods are nothing in comparison. Like, seriously. Let's go to the neighborhood. We've done it. We've defeated the uh, uh, police... Pol police... Rob, I don't know. Policeman, ice cream, man, Rod. And we've saved our tatted up friend. <laughs> oh no, they're spider webs. They're not wings. Okay. Sorry, Chuck. I, I, I'm sorry that I thought that those were wings on that cake. They were spider webs on that cake. He's, he's off. He's going to go, you know, fight some crime now. And then go back to turning children into ice cream. What a weirdo. You're going to give me a blender. You're not going to give me the AirPods. You're really going to hold on to those AirPods. Oh, buddy Chuck. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Because I'd throw you right back in that cage. If I wasn't, you'd make a delicious mitten chip. But there you have it, guys. Ice cream police version. Very, very cool mod once again by a Beggy Joe. Thanks to him for making this mod and sharing it with me. Go check out his channel, link in the description down below. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.